Oh man, is it hard to be a DCEU fan? Well, it's finally dead. The DCEU is no more RIP. Aquaman 2, or Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, is finally out. It's been like two years since they finished filming this thing. They finally put it out. And the DCEU just kind of goes out with a whimper instead of a bang. Very disappointing because there's so much potential in Aquaman and this franchise. They did a billion dollars in the first movie. I will say, I think the first movie is a better film. I had a, a more fun time at the movie theater, but this one also has its moments. There's a lot of potential with the buddy cop thing that they do between Patrick Wilson and Jason Momoa, having them be brothers, very similar to Thor and Loki. Um, there was a lot of similarities between the MCU and this movie. I felt like they were really trying to capture a lot of the MCU magic but it just didn't quite get there. It just felt like they were trying to do an imitation, a pale imitation of something that has been good for so many years. The cast on this movie is fantastic. That, you know, like I said, the Jason Momoa and Patrick Wilson is the top, but Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, Nicole Kidman, Tamara Morrison, Dolph Lundgren, just all these great people introducing Randall Park into the Aquaman world, but they just don't get anything to do. All of these great actors are there, and they're just, they're just kind of twiddling their thumbs, standing around, and I'm like, man, I wish they would utilize all these great actors. I think really the weakest part about this movie is just the story. It's just not very interesting what is happening, and they're kind of wasting all of these talents, and like I said, the creature designs, all of this stuff underwater would have been fantastic, and they just didn't do anything with it. A lot of Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever vibes of Atlantis revealing itself to the world and showing this great underwater place, but man, they just did not know what to do with it. And DC kind of just dumped this at the end. There's no continuation of this universe. We know now that it's dead, but when they were filming this and creating this, they had no idea that the DCEU was coming to an end so abruptly so it's just a lot of wasted potential a lot of what if and what could have been and i really would have liked to have seen if they had like a a proper ending but most people are not even going to notice as we go into this new james gunn dc universe that there was even a change but i'm excited for what's coming next in the dcu with james gunn and all the things that are coming down the pipeline but this movie it just kind of it was okay there were times that I laughed, there were times that I was enjoying myself, but overall, I said, man, I actually really like the first Aquaman a lot more than this second outing. So Jason Momoa's charisma was just not enough to carry it through and, and give this a great rating. So I would say actually wait for maybe home video on this one, wait for streaming. But until then, like I said, we're gonna be catching up on the DC universe and making sure that we have everything here in the Vactorverse. We're talking all things comics and Star Wars to let you know we got some great things coming up. If you want to check out some of our past reviews, click right here. <laughs>